Hey everyone, Prophet here. I'm going to do a short video here in regards to the pre-stream podcast today because Phil basically told me to fuck off in the middle of the stream. And I'll get into it here. I basically sent Phil an email basically offering him help, trying to be polite in regards to the input lag fiasco that's been going on in his channel here for, like, say, the past week or so. Um, you know, people coming in and going, or there's one guy that came in on Monday and told Phil, you know, the input lag from the Xbox is a lot better than the input lag that's on the PlayStation 5. And I basically tell Phil how the test that happened on Event Hub was full of shit, and this is how input lag is really done in regards to the systems, but let's just take a listen here of what happened. And I want to thank Almighty Fraga, because his stream is the only stream I can have, or I can find, that's not on Dark Dave Mirror, that is actually up. Phil hasn't even uploaded his video yet from this morning, and chopped it up into four or five different slots just to fucking abuse the algorithm. So, let's take a listen. Every game is miserable when you play it. Do, wait, wait for it. He's gonna play the game soon. Let's see what uh, what he sounds like. Let's see what DSP sounds like when he's playing King of Fighters. It's gonna be pure gamer face, try hard, toxic. He's gonna get hit. He's gonna complain. What what are we doing? Someone wrote me a, mass, a massive email here about input lag. And this right. Insane. Okay. That's what we're doing. Hey, this guy's crazy. Dude! Really? Nah, this guy's a frog. He's in frog mode. DSP gives no fucks. He's reading the whole email. And of course, it's ridiculous nonsense, too. Okay. All right. Wow. Okay. That was... Okay, so Phil basically told me to fuck off, right? Ridiculous nonsense. Now, a little bit of background about myself before I got into woodworking. For I'm the same age as Phil, so for since I was 15, I've been working on working in a computer store. I've built computers since I was seven. Now, I have my A plus. I have my network plus. I have my Cisco Cisco system certification. I've worked for Dell. HP, IBM, MicroStation, Town Center Computers, and I keep a personal clientele of two businesses and a bunch of public people that I do tons of computer work for on the side. Now, over the years I've listened to Phil spew forth a ton of misinformation when it comes to tech, like recently when he said, Hertz equals more frames. And it's just like, whew. Okay. And then his complaints about wireless internet and everything. And I'm going to get into a new video on that here shortly. And I'm going to explain how... And I'm going to debunk everything that Phil says. You know, lag, drop connections, dropped frames of animation, and bullshit like that. I'm going to go into all the tism that's spread around all that bullshit. And I'm going to debunk it all. But let's take a look at the email that I sent Phil here. What he basically told everybody was nonsense. So here's the email I sent Phil today around lunchtime, which is 12 o'clock my time, 11 o'clock his time. Uh, hey Phil, I'm going to be polite in this email here and I'm going to offer you help. Listening in on the streams and misinformation that is being spewed by your viewers and yourself, I'm going to explain input lag to you. Input lag does not affect FPS. Now what this guy, what they get into in the event hub and everything like that is that it affects frames per second. It does not affect frames per second. Input lag, there's there's video lag, and then there's input lag. The input lag that we're talking about is revolves around the controller, when Phil hits a button, to how long it takes it to occur on screen. Okay? So that's what we're going to get into. No matter who tells you it does... Who, no matter who tells you it does not... They are full of shit. Input lag is response time between you, when you push the button and when the effect happens on the screen. This in no way affects frames, and it doesn't. Now... When you have things like a GGPO netcode or a no rollback or a rollback netcode, they don't drop frames. 
Okay, the netcode doesn't drop the frame, and it doesn't drop like Phil claims frame of animation. That doesn't happen, and I'll get into that in the next video. Okay, so let's just get that out of the way. And I tell him the Event Hub article is full of shit. This is the one that they've been talking about on Phil's stream here recently. Now, for one, they test using a wireless controller on a console and PC. The problem, each wireless setup is different. Xbox Series X and S does not support Bluetooth. It does not have Bluetooth functionality. The controller has Bluetooth functionality, yes, because you can use the controller on a PC. And that's why I game on PC, because I personally use a PS5 controller, because I like the feel. Like, back when I was playing Mortal Kombat 3 on the original PlayStation 1 and everything like that, I just like the feel of that controller. It's closer to, like, a Super Nintendo controller, whereas the Xbox controller I find very bulky. I don't like it. I have Xbox controllers here. I have them for my notebook. Probably going to replace them with PlayStation 5 controllers here in the future. Now, of course, the Xbox Series X and S does not support Bluetooth and uses an RF wireless patented tech from Microsoft called Xbox Wireless. The controllers do, though, support Bluetooth so they can be used on PC. PlayStation 4 and 5 do support Bluetooth 5.1 and will depend on the environment on how these functions. And I'll get into this in a later video. Okay? The 5 milliseconds of response time... It, it's negligible, okay? The Xbox Series S has... Well, according to the test that was done on the beta is of, K, of King of Fighters is 3.5 milliseconds versus 5.4 milliseconds. So it's like 1.9 millisecond difference of... Or 1.1 millisecond difference... Or 2.1 milliseconds, sorry... That's negligible. That that that's in the realm of error. Okay, that you don't even need to worry about that. But there's a caveat here for it. That being said, Phil uses a wired controller. He uses his fight sticks, and they're wired in. They are not wireless. That means all this bullshit and hoopla that they're talking about uh, with the input lag doesn't affect Phil because Phil doesn't use a wireless controller, which the tests were done on. He is wired in. Now we'll get into this really quick. The Xbox Series X supports only USB 3.0, which is fine for a controller. It's going to support 1000 Hz pulling rate, depending on the device used. The PS5, though, supports USB 3.2. Now, it doesn't matter between the controller, if it's wired in, between 3.0 and 3.2. The PS5 supports 3.2 Gen 2. What matters, then, is the speed at which an external drive can write. The PlayStation 5 has much faster support. Supports up to 10 gigabit transfer, gigabits of transfer rate. So it's going to transfer at a lot faster speed than the Xbox. That's just how the Xbox works. Now, Phil's response time on his wired controller is going to be 0 0.1 millisecond. So it doesn't even exist. It's wired in at 1000 hertz polling rate for the Xbox and both the PlayStation. So, get the input lag fucking out of their filth. You're, you're an idiot. You, you have no idea what's going on. Your viewers have no fucking idea what's going on. And then you guys are spreading this misinformation. Okay? And you gotta stop. And this is why I was offering you help. Now, what's gonna add the most input lag is gonna be that piece of shit TCL Series 4 TV from 2017. And here's why. The TV is shit. It only supports HDMI 2.0a. Doesn't support 2.0b and not 2.1. Now, he then uses an HDMI splitter, which is only 1.4a. And you can see this in his condo walkthrough when he goes through his shitty fucking office and he shows the two, he actually uses two splitters. They're HDMI 1.4a. So that even slows it down even more. So even though his TV supports 2.0a, he's only transferring a 1.4a speeds. Now, it's fine. It can do 4K, but it can't do 4K 60. Now, Phil uploads at 1080p 60, so it it kind of, it's like an upscale. So what Phil sees, like when Phil tells you he's like, he's like, oh, it's so smooth, you know, 60 frames per second and blah, blah, blah. He actually doesn't see that. And Phil doesn't understand. When, with the new consoles, they support HDMI 2.1, which gives you VRR, 120 hertz, and eARC. Right? There are a few other things that are benefit because of the 48 gigabit transfer rates, but Phil won't make use 
of any of that technology because his TV is garbage. And his TV, if you keep on reading, he can do 60 frames per second if he uses display compression, but then that affects the image quality on the screen. And you know how Phil, you know, always jumps back and forth between, oh, image quality is the must, and no, you know, if it plays good, it's great, and blah, 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 right? So Phil's full of shit when it comes to all that. Now, Phil's TV actually can't do HDR, even though it is listed as HDR compatible. His TV can only do a peak brightness of 256 nits. HDR 400 is the lowest form of HDR that you can get, which is 400 nits. Your best bet for HDR is you want a 1,000 nit screen. That is, the the HDR will pop. There are other HDR specs above that. There's HDR 1,400, 1,600, and 2,000. But Phil can't even do that with his TV. So it can't actually display proper HDR. And I go in and I explain that he's gimped himself. He loses all that functionality. Now, if you look... And you look up the TCL Series 4 TV from 2017. They support an input lagging gaming mode in 1080p and 4K of 14.2 milliseconds. Which is great. It's below 15 milliseconds, which is basically the threshold for input lag. Anything over 15 milliseconds is is shit. Okay, like, it's not shit shit. Like, it's still doable. Um, And it's fine. Like, if you're not in competitive, like, if you're not competing in tournaments, stuff like that, that, that's fine. Anything below 15 milliseconds is awesome. That's what you want. The lower the number, the better. Now, the... But you got to factor in 14.2 milliseconds with his TV lag. Factor in the Xbox or the PlayStation 5 controller. And you're looking at around 19 milliseconds of input lag. Which is fine, because Phil's a dent head, right? Like, Phil has no idea what's going on. He doesn't give a shit. So, but again, he's using a wired controller, so his TV gives him the most input lag that there is. And his TV is just trash, okay? Now, I also go into the Wi-Fi capabilities and the wire capabilities of the Xbox Series X and S for the PS5. And there is a big difference. The Xbox Series X and S does not support AC or AX or Wi-Fi 6. So it's a wireless N derivative, and that's slower. Now, wireless N, like, its peak speed is, what, like, 600 megabits per second? And Phil, I'm going to get this into a, into my next video. I know in my first video I said Phil has a 600 megabits connection with 15 mega or 600 megabits down, 15 megabits up. I think I'm wrong on that. I'm actually certain now that Phil's on a 300 megabit down connection and 10 megabits up. And I'll get into that in the next video because I think I actually found the model of his modem and what's supported. Now, wireless N is fine. Like, you know, 600 megabits a second is fine. You know, it's it's okay. But the 5 gigahertz band, over the years with AC and ACX and a- ACX-E, which is the Wi-Fi, is, is uh, the 6 gigahertz band. Remember, 5 gigahertz is a lot wider. So if you're gaming, you should be on the 5 gigahertz band. The consoles don't support the 6 gigahertz band, so don't, just forget about that for now. The wider the pipe... So you're going to have 20, 40, 80, and now 160 megahertz channel bands for 5 gigahertz. So the wider the pipe, the better the speed. You're going to have less packet loss. You're going to have... It's just going to be all around better. The fact that the Xbox Series X and S does not support that feature, it, it, that's a, that's shit. But the PS5 does support AC and does support Wi-Fi 6. So right away, the PlayStation 5 is going to have a better connection Wi-Fi. Wirelessly, the PS5 is superior than the Xbox Series X. Now, both wired, they both support gigabit Ethernet. And you're going to want to be using Cat 6. Do not use Cat 5 or Cat 5e. Use Cat 6. There's also Cat 7 and there's also Cat 8. I use Cat 8 in my home here. Everything is wired in. And Cat 8 just offers the most shielding. And of course it offers transfer rates up to 40 gigabits. Now, I'm offering you help here, Phil. Before you spread misinformation and defamation against the company. Now, Phil does this, right? Like, You see how Phil pe- complains that people harass him. But then Phil gets on the pre-stream podcast and he insults game developers. He insults individuals. He insults companies, right? That's defamation. 
Now, let's say a Sony exec saw what Phil was talking about, the input lag, and how bad it is on this PlayStation. If the Sony exec wanted to, they can send a, de- a cease and desist order against Phil. And then they can turn around and sue him for defamation, because they can claim that it's hurt their sales. That's why Phil, like, misinformation side Phil, I call him a lot. You can't go on your platform, on your channel, and just start making up bullshit and lies like this, Phil. It, 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 like, Phil's always, like, he's on Twitter, and some idiot messages him on Twitter and tells him the story or whatever, but there's no confirmation, and then Phil starts talking about this story on his channel. You, Phil, you, you can't do that. Okay, that's that's slander and defamation. You, you, you can't do that. You have no proof, and that's why people ask you for proof all the time. And you refuse to deal with it. Right? Then I ask him, reply if you want more help. Like, I will... I've offered Phil help, okay? I've offered to fix his internet problems. I've offered to help him improve his co- his uh, streaming capabilities. And I know other detractors have too. Like, Phil's a loser, okay? And I, I hate what Phil does because he preys on the weak people that are more susceptible to coercion and everything like that, right? And I hate watching people go through that. And I need to step in and just say, enough is enough. Okay? But to basically tell me to fuck off today, Phil, after I've provided you some help? Gloves are off, buddy. Like, as of this moment, we are at war. And I know, shout out Shinko Fleur, I know Shinko's offered to do, Phil, an actual intro proper intro, not detractor ha ha he he funny, right? Like, Shinko's offered to do him a solid, and do a proper intro for him. But do you see what happens when you offer Phil help? And then Phil just shits on you, right? Rambo, Howard, his parents, Leanna, Machinima, like, they've all offered Phil help and advice. And what does Phil do? Because of his narcissism, turns around and shits on you. And to any of Phil's viewers that listen or watch this video, you know, Phil's a con man, okay? All Phil does is he wants your money. He doesn't care about his chat, right? Like, you see that when you guys start talking about football or music or whatnot, Phil immediately loses his mind and threatens to time everybody out, okay? All Phil wants is money. Okay? Because that's all Phil sees as a, as a success. Right? Like, he's in a marriage where there's no love. There's no interaction. Like, he lied during the fucking uh, begathon here on Saturday, last Saturday, where he said Cat wasn't home and then Cat was there in the kitchen talking to him. Okay? The whole theory on that is Cat probably got fired. Okay? Because she always, there's always problems with her, with her stupid fucking job because she's a shift worker. Okay? And, you know, each to their own, you know, Cat probably doesn't have a pot to piss in without Phil, right? Where would she end up? She'd end up back with Subaru Man, doing whatever, who knows, right? So Cat's got to stick it out for the long haul until mid-first forecloses on the condo, sues Phil, puts a lien on the Washington condo, and then Phil's back living with his parents. So, you know... I have faith in humanity, but every single time I listen to a pre-stream podcast or just see Phil doing stupid shit, I I lose faith in humanity. Like, we've had the Flu Trucks clan here in Canada, which is just fucking horrible. So, I just want to just wanted to get this out here today, because it really kind of pissed me off that I offered him some help, and he basically shit on me. But, whatever. Now, I want to thank you guys for listening and watching. We've got more subscribers on the channel. Meerkat has done the uh, banner for me, which is just amazing. Thank you, Meerkat Inc. Shout out, Meerkat guys. Subscribe to his channel. He's an awesome guy. Subscribe to Shinko. Subscribe to Almighty Fraga. Um, I am going to try to do a video this weekend. It's a long weekend here, and I am going to actually get some time off. So, I'm just in the middle of... Rebuilding my PC here at home. Uh, 
want to redo some wiring in it, uh, maybe do some new thermal paste on the CPU and everything here. I got to do that this weekend. Uh, might grab a new microphone so I don't sound kind of muffled. Uh, gonna try to do that this weekend. And it's going to be a massive debunk video on everything from the lag to the hertz to input lag to drop frames of animation. We're going to be using Halo, Street Fighter V, might buy King of Fighters. Ain't worth no fucking 80 bucks Canadian, sorry. But maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Um, but I want to thank all the new subscribers to the channel. We'll up to 15 new subscribers. We have 15 total subscribers, which is awesome. I far exceeds what I thought I would get. Um want to thank you guys again, and we'll see you this weekend. Peace out.